Namaste. You know, everybody needs and wants some recognition, some validation, somebody to say, yes, you are, you're, you're real, you know. But for most people, they're looking for that validation in the wrong place. They're looking externally. They're looking for other people or groups or books or rules or organizations or something to shore up their belief in themselves, really. And of course, this is going to lead them astray. The reason why is that external sources of validation are always pushing their own agendas. They're not really there to help you. They're there to push forward their own plan, whatever that might be. So, for example, you're not going to get validation from school or teachers for thinking for yourself because their plan is actually to stop you from thinking for yourself and get you to accept whatever nonsense they're trying to push down your throat. And the same goes for family. Your family has a different agenda from you, especially if you're a spiritual seeker. And the same goes for friends and what to speak of, like religious authorities. Religious authorities have a very deliberate agenda to push on you and they really don't care what you think or how you look at things. You shouldn't listen to any of these. Now, if you're looking for some support, which is natural, look in the scriptures. The scriptures actually have your best interests at heart. They may be difficult to understand. That's another thing. The point is, the scriptures have no ideology of their own. The scriptures are simply trying to get at the truth and trying to give you tools to realize the truth. Now, what do I mean by scriptures? Four Vedas, Upanishads, Vedanta, Tantras. Other than that, there aren't too many scriptures I can recommend. And the reason is that, of course, they're trying to push their own agenda. They don't really care about you. So what to speak of preachers and teachers and spiritual organizations, governments, my God, political parties, they don't care a bit about you. Bosses at work, you know, no. They're all wrapped up in their own plans, their own goals, their own agendas. So they will advise you from that point of view. But I say look within. I say look to God for validation. Look to God for approval. Look to God for recognition and reciprocation of your spiritual works. Let me give you some examples. Of course, I've told this story many times back in 1984. After meditating for just six weeks, well, I was meditating for eight to 16 hours a day, you know, <laughs> really just doing nothing but sitting. And when I was sitting, I was doing nothing. I was just watching. And over the course of six weeks, I went through a whole kundalini rising experience and finally shakti appeared or made her presence clear and gave me shakti pot and oh man i saw brahman in the world i saw the world in brahman and there was such bliss such intense happiness 
And then recently here in Tiruvannamalai, when I first came to Tiruvannamalai, I said, I'm going to do intense uh, Gayatri Mantra sadhana. So I started chanting Gayatri Mantra on beads in the sitting yogic posture while walking while and while I was doing other things, chanting internally, always chanting silently. You never chant Gayatri out loud, except maybe for teaching purposes. So anyway, I was sitting in my place. I had a little place right across from Agni Lingam. <laughs> I love that name, Agni Lingam. Um, I had a little place right across the street from it. And I was exactly between Agni Lingam and Sheshadri Samadhi, the Sheshadri Swamis, Swami Gals, uh, Samadhi really intense energy. So I was sitting there chanting, I think it was about four in the morning. And suddenly I got this feeling of moving energy it started in my legs. You know, it felt just like an orgasm. When it first starts, you get this feeling of energy moving in your legs and then it gradually comes up, except I wasn't at all in, in sexual mood. But I got this orgasmic feeling all over my body. And the same thing happened a couple of years later, in fact, right in this room, when I had first begun chanting Mahashodashi Mantra. And I was sitting on my asana, it was about, a little later, it was about five or six in the morning. And I had been chanting intensively for like three or four weeks and suddenly the same thing happened. I got this feeling, this orgasmic feeling and this moving of energy like all over my body. It was fantastic. And just today, just yesterday and today, today is, or yesterday actually is Mahashivaratri. And I was so blissed out yesterday and this morning and last night I had the most intense colorful dreams beautiful dreams and I was so blissed out I really wanted to make a video another video in the the new series that I'm doing you know but I just couldn't get it together I was like too blissful it's getting to the point where I'm like that more often than not and so I feel now I don't need anybody to tell me I'm on the right path because I feel so much happiness coming from within. And, and my desires have just gone. I don't want anything. I don't want any designation or recognition or anything from outside huh? because it's coming from inside every day. Every day when chanting my mantra and I feel goddess is near, I felt her again this morning, just like I had felt her back in 1984. I can't see her, but I can feel her. And it's just the most, <laughs> most pleasant and wonderful feeling. And so when you feel like this, when you get recognition from God, you don't anymore care for recognition from people or religious authorities or organizations or, you know, in any other way. Just my life has been so transformed by chanting Mahashodashi Mantra. And I was already enlightened. I mean, I already knew <laughs> and had realization of Brahman and the Dvaita philosophy and Buddhism and so many other things, huh? Buddha's teaching more correctly, that even so, I didn't need anything 
extra from outside to tell me I'm on the right path. Even if these experiences wouldn't, wouldn't happen often, even if they only happened every couple of years, which in the beginning was true the way it was. I wasted so much time looking for approval, respect, recognition um, from outside, from other people. It was a waste of time. I never got the response I wanted from those people because I never wanted to surrender to their different, different uh, agendas. I always had my own path firmly in my mind and I knew it was right. So even if other people aren't going to give me recognition, I'm not going to deviate from my path. You know, I may compromise a little bit, but I'm not really going to change my mind because it's working. It's giving me the feedback. It's giving me the recognition from within that God is saying through my intuition that you're right. You're on the right path. Keep going. And so I never gave up. I never deviated from what I thought was right. I always had my own standards for what I was willing to accept as a teaching. And those are based on what I said in the beginning of the video, going to the original sacred literatures, not the derived literatures, because they're always, you know, somehow perverted or diverted from the original cause and designed to sell somebody's agenda. And I just don't go for that. I'm not into anybody's agenda. You know, I want to attain self-realization. I want enlightenment. I want release, moksha, liberation. So anything that moves me in that direction, I'll accept. But I have to taste it myself. I don't accept just on theory. I meet so many people who just overthink everything and who take religious dogma and propaganda as truth. But it's not truth because it's all biased. <laughs> Everybody who writes spiritual books sees their own way as the only way. Huh? I see my way as the only way for me. Maybe somebody else can get good results doing it another way. I don't know. I'm not them. I can't tell. That's outside of my range of vision, my awareness. So I know from that that nobody else can tell what's good for me. Only I know by my own experience and the way I feel about it. So don't look outside for validation, encouragement, instruction, and so many other things. Look within. That's really the whole spiritual path in two words. Look within, inquire within. <laughs> That'll get you where you really want to go. Aum Tatsa. Aum Shakti. Aum.